Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be inspiring you guys to organize. So I'm actually heading out right now. We're gonna go shopping. I'm gonna go shopping with my mom. I'm gonna go to the container store, Ikea, Home Goods, probably the 99 cent store. Um, we'll see, I'll take you guys along the way. When I get back, I'll show you guys what I get and then we're gonna get into organizing. It's probably gonna be a two day project because there's probably about four or five areas that need to be organized. Um, I think two of the areas are probably gonna be a little bit quicker than the others, but um, yeah, so let's go, let's get started, I'm excited. Okay, so before I head out, I just wanted to show you guys the water that I'm gonna be bringing with me. I love my water, I need to stay hydrated. We're gonna be out for a while shopping around, so I'm gonna bring my water. I have cucumber lime and pineapple kiwi. These are the smart waters. They actually don't have any carbonation or sugar or anything like that. They're just kind of like refreshers, I would say and they just have a really nice flavor. So I wanted to show you guys that before we head out. All right, let's go. back that was such a long shopping day my mom was definitely getting tired toward the end um we went to probably like four or five stores i'm going to show you guys everything that i got there and then we're going to start getting organized with the stuff that i got um i'm still missing one thing to organize the under part of my um, sink and my bathroom so i think i'm gonna have to go back to amazon and see if there's anything there that i can find um i didn't find anything at ikea or the container store that i really liked also the container store was like very empty. I don't know what's going on, if it's like shortage of like shipment or something, but yeah, they did not have a lot of stuff. So I did get exactly what I wanted to go for, so that was good, but um, other than that, the shelves are pretty sparse. The first thing I'm actually gonna go over is something I got on Amazon. Um, my package came today, so we're gonna open that together. It's still sealed, I haven't opened it yet. Um, this is a magnetic calendar that I have um, for our refrigerator. So we'll see what it looks like. We're gonna open it together right now. I just needed something for both Ruben and I to kind of look at. Um, so we have all our dates in order and everything and we both know what's going on each day, like doctor's appointments and stuff like that. Just so we have like one central calendar. Obviously we have our phones that we can use. I think I use mine more than he does. So, but yeah, I'm excited. This is just like kind of like a sheet and it's, Oh, cool. Okay. So I'll put the link down below where um, I got this. So the first thing I see is it comes with um, the dry erase pens and then it has like this really cute little um, eraser on the side. Oops. That's cool how this came. So it looks like there's like a coral, purple, blue, and black. Yeah. Those are cute. And it has erasers on the top too. I'm really excited about this. Okay. So those are that. Um, and then this is the magnetic part. Okay, this is really cool. I'm excited. Love getting organized. This is really cool. So it literally is just one giant magnet and we're gonna put it on our refrigerator and you just change the month and everything. And I liked how this one was color coordinated um, just so you can see each day of the week and then it's customized to everything. That's really cool. I think this would be more so like birthday parties or if we have an appointment that we have that he needs to go to or I need to go to. 
um yeah this is really nice and it's really nice quality it's not like cheap and flimsy so that's that and then it actually came with two other calendars too that you can put on your fridge so you have other um things that you need to put down that are more specific so this is like a smaller one and just has like three sections on it maybe you can do like your grocery list on this or um you know like your cleaning or any to-do list or anything like that so that's really cool and then this one I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use this. Um, I might, I might even give this to my mom or my sister, but basically it's just a bigger version of the days of the week. So if you wanted to do, um, like October 15th, October, blah, blah, blah date, um, then you could get it on here and it's a little bit bigger, especially if you have a lot more going on, maybe you have kids and stuff. So like on Monday, um, each kid can have their own line and everything, like what they're doing and stuff. So that's really cool. But these are really nice quality. I think I'm really going to enjoy these and definitely going to keep us um, in check with our calendar. So to the stores, I'm going to go in order of the stores that we went to. I didn't do a lot of filming in the stores. It is Saturday. So there's a, there was a lot of people, a lot going on. So it's kind of hard to like get my camera out. And, um, I definitely haven't been to the container store in person ever. I've only been online. So I really wanted to kind of take the full experience, which I really didn't get because there wasn't that much on the shelves, like I said, but um, it was kind of cool to see how they organized everything and what they do have available. They do have a lot of great stuff there. Um, I will say that there's a lot of stuff at the container store that you can get at like TJ Maxx, Ross, or um, Marshalls, Home Goods, all that kind of stuff. So I definitely just kind of bought what like the prices are that are good and not good and that kind of thing so yeah but um the one thing that I went for and I'll save that for the last is what I'm really excited to show you guys so and we're gonna organize that today okay so first thing I got is a medium cookie scoop I make chocolate chip cookies I make oatmeal chocolate chip cookies M&M cookies I make cookies all the time sugar cookies everything so I needed a medium one I have a um a smaller one but this one's a definitely um a better size for some of the stuff that I make and this is just the OXO good grips brand and I got that from um the container store okay. and the next thing I got from there I need to organize my what do I call this drawer makeup beauty products soaps hair I mean it's like it's my everyday drawer so I have like my toners in there my hair products um, what else do I have in there? Lotions for my body, everything like that. And it's just thrown in this big drawer and it drives me nuts to look at it like that. So I need a little bit of organization in there. Not everything's obviously going to go into something because like my big Cetaphil moisturizing cream doesn't need to really be in a separate container. So I'm going to, um, leave that on the side, but this is for some of the stuff just to keep it in an area where it's just if I put it in there it will fall down or throw like just be tossed in there if I don't have a spot for it so I got this organizer I'm really excited about this so it just has like a couple different compartments inside the organizer and I'm definitely be able to fit my bottles right on top um in each organizer there's like some smaller areas so this is just like a vanity organizer I'm going to put in there and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about because I'm not explaining it very well right now, but you'll see. Um, okay. So the next thing I got is this, um, container. It doesn't really have a brand. You just like squeeze, pull, and then put back. Um, I got this for uh, spaghetti cause I don't have anything for spaghetti. So I just needed something. Okay. So excited to show you guys this. I'm, <sighs> This is gonna bring joy, okay? And I hope this inspires you guys too to get a little bit organized, whatever you guys have. Maybe there's something that you guys use a lot of every day that really needs organized. Like you're really into your lip stuff or you're really into your eyeshadow, or you're really into your jewelry. Um, whatever you're really into and you have a lot of, get something to get it organized because that's exactly what this is and I'm really excited. So we'll go ahead and start with the first thing. So this is separate. I'm not going to put it as a stackable, even though it is, it has like this little base on the bottom that kind of like, it doesn't, um, like clamp in or click in or anything like that, but it just falls into place essentially when you stack it on other things. So this is the sunglasses holder. So right now my sunglasses are just like kind of scrunched up in this little tray thing that I have. Um, not, not very good. It's going to like 
the glasses are scratched up and stuff like that. So I'm going to clean them up. One of them's missing a screw. I'm going to find a screw to put that in there and I'm going to store them all in this case. It's clear. I'm going to be able to see what's in it and I'm really excited. So this is the first thing. Um, and then I'm going to talk about everything I got for the jewelry and this, it's all the same like style is in the color, um, taupe. So that's the color that I went with, but they have white, mink, vanilla, blush, taupe, and navy croc. The colors that I saw at the store, I saw the white. It was just a little too white for me and I felt like it might've um, got kind of dirty. Mink was a very dark like brown. I didn't see the vanilla. So that one's interesting. It looks on the back of this and I'll show you like an ivory color. The blush was in the store and it was really, really pretty. The, the taupe is what I have. And then the navy croc, I think I'm gonna go with it looks navy, but I did not see it in the store. So um, yeah, but this is for the glasses storage and for all of the uh, jewelry storage as well, the same color. So I'll show you guys that right now. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too blurry. So cute, I'm so excited. You guys will see everything when I put it together. Okay, so the next one, I'll show you the main tray that goes on the bottom. So this is the main tray that's gonna go on the bottom. This is gonna be for my necklaces and then for bracelets that are like, um, like hook on ones that are like long. So I'm wearing like my Tiffany's one right now that hooks on. So that one will definitely go in there. But for bracelet, this other bracelet that I'm wearing, it's gonna go in a different spot and I'll show you guys that spot in a second. So yeah, this is the base of it. Other jewelry can go in here as well. Um, I'm definitely gonna play around with organizing and, and seeing what fits and works, but this is the base. And then on top of the base, so you can get the, you, you can just leave it open or you can get the lids for them. I only got the lid for the bottom one just because um, that's the only one that I wanted to put a lid on for now until I see kind of how everything works. So it's just a clear acrylic lid and then it just fits right on top. So that is for that. And then also you can probably put this on two of them if you have like the two of them, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So that's the bottom. I just love this color. This taupe color is so pretty. Okay, so this one is three little sections. It's a smaller one. It's it's gonna go on top of the bigger one on the bottom. Um, and then I got this, which goes right in here and it's for your watches. And I love watches, so I'm really excited. I don't have a ton of watches, but definitely enough to fit on this. So this was an extra um, that you could add on. Everything is stackable and customized to what you use, what you like, and I think that's really cool about these. And I just think they're super, super pretty. So yeah, this is the stackable. This will go in here and I'll put my watches on there. So that's that one. Okay, the next one is for um, some of the daintier jewelry that you have and for ring. It has the section for the rings and then it has everything else that you can also put in here. So that's that one. And then the last one I got is actually closed and it's a drawer. So it's like this. Also, again, a stackable taupe color. And I got this one kind of for more of my um, valuable jewelry, just so it's kind of hidden and, and not out in the open. This is um, just a drawer with two sections in it. So again, it has the little bottom that you can use for stacking. I cannot wait to put this together, guys. It's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna organize everything together. The next store that we went to was Nordstrom Rack. My mom just needed to make a return, but I actually ended up picking up just one thing. I'll show you guys that right now. I think this is from like their BP collection, but it's just like um, a soft rose color. This is like super soft fabric, and then it has a little tie at the bottom. Super cute. So I'm excited about that. I gotta pick that up. Okay, where did we go next? Okay, next we went to Ikea. So I got a few bigger items that I'll show you. Um, okay, forgetting everything everywhere now. <laughs> okay, so this is a shoe rack. Um, it was like, I think it was like $4.99 at Ikea. You could stack it with multiple of these on top of each other. 
I got this one just so that we could put it at the front of our door because we like to have our shoes there and it was just looking a little bit unorganized to me and this is only $4.99. So this is the shoe rack for the front of the door. But, and this is a big project that we're gonna need to tackle, is the closet. The closet's gotten a little out of hand. It was organized when we moved in, but um, things just got out of hand really quick. Um, so what I got was an extra shoe rack. So we have racks in our closet, like I said, you'll see it. But basically, Ruben's shoes are on one side, my shoes are on one side, and then I have some in the middle. And there isn't room for all of our shoes in the middle, so his are on that side, but they're all on the floor and they're kind of reaching out so that um, we also store our vacuum in there. Things are starting to like push into the middle, can barely open the door all the way. So I got him a shoe rack and it was only $17.99 and it's white. And you guys will definitely just see this when I set it up. Is that upside down? No, it's not. <laughs> so there you go. That's what it is right there. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys so you can see. But $17.99 for a shoe rack. I'm excited about that. That's a good price. So um, yeah, so we got that. Let me move my stackables to the other side so I can show you everything else I got. I got another glass mason jar from Ikea. I used to get these from Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but they're actually cheaper at Ikea. So I like to store just like foods in here, rice and all that kind of stuff. So we just needed an extra one and I think that was $3.99. So um, yeah. And then I just got a few other things. Okay, so I picked up this dish towel it's it was only 79 cents and they i don't like these for like your regular like drying your hands or drying dishes but what these are really good for is baking so i'll put this around bread when you're letting it rise or if i'm making fresh rolls i'll put them in a little basket with this inside and i'll wrap them up and again 79 cents can't go wrong and it's got this cute little red line on it so i'm kind of excited to use this for christmas time so i'm gonna use that so one more thing from ikea since we've moved in, we've gotten our wedding photos um, and our wedding video, but I haven't put any up. So I'm going to make special canvases for us to go above our bed. But um, those are just going to be on our bedroom. But I thought we should have at least one out here in the living room for us to enjoy. So I just got this picture frame. I want to say it was like $2.99. It's just an 8 by 10 It's just white along the edges and it's a little bit thicker. Okay, so after Ikea, where did we go? um we stopped at marshall's i did not find anything there i was looking for some baskets and i was also looking for um under storage under the bathroom did not find it there then i went to the 99 cent store i actually picked up a few christmas things just because i have this thing in the middle of my island and i you probably see it in videos but basically it's um this tray that i created and i painted it and i put a j on it for um the initial of our last name and basically it has Halloween and fall decor in there right now. So it has like a little scarecrow and some pumpkins and some really cute um, orange and yellow flowers. So I'm like, what am I gonna do for Christmas? Well, I have accumulated some Christmas decor, but I didn't really have anything for that specific area. So what I got for that is I am going to take this little wreath right here that I got from the 99 cent store and I'm gonna put a candle in between it. So I'm gonna put that there. And then also I got this really cute sign that says, I love Christmas. It does not say I love Christmas, but I just love Christmas. I love the idea of it. I love movies and it makes me so happy and brings me a lot of joy. So do it brings you joy, guys. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Super, super cute. And it's like glittery and stuff. So I'm going to put that in the tray as well, along with that. And then might put a few like ornaments in a bowl or something, but I already have that stuff. So I just need to pick up those. And then, um, I also just picked up some extra thank you notes at the 99 cent store. I didn't even know they sold these. They come in a pack um, of six. So I got 12 of them for two bucks. Can't have too many thank you notes. Um, okay, so that was at the 99 cent store. The last place I went to was Home Goods just for the sole purpose of trying to find the baskets for this one area. Finally found them. It was a long trek. I've been shopping for two months, been to tons of different stores, just haven't found the right ones. Um, I'm hoping these are the right ones. I love the design. I love the style. This is exactly what I wanted. I just hope they're big enough. That's the only thing I'm like, which now that I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the area that they're going to go, I think, I think it's going to be big enough and I'm really excited. Okay. So I got three of them because we're going to stack them underneath. And again, you guys are going to see all of the organization happening. We're going to do the jewelry first because I'm way too excited about that. So these are the 
um, baskets that I got. They're about like 11 inches in height. Um, pretty deep, pretty um, good size. So we'll see. I, I just got three of these all the same style. Our couch is gray. Our rug is white and gray. So I figured white and gray would match everything. And um, yeah, so that was the haul. Okay, so this is the before and basically what I've been dealing with for my jewelry and why I haven't worn a lot of it. This is just supposed to be our perfume and cologne tray, so everything else should be off of it. Basically, I'll show you guys. We have rings and earrings here. We have some necklaces there, there, there. This is from when I moved and I never unwrapped it. So there's some there. Here's some more jewelry finds in here. I don't even know what's in there. Um, that is the little place where I had my bracelets and stuff before. Okay, so I'm just in my room and then this is how I'm gonna organize it. I'm just putting all the jewelry out onto my bed and then I'm just gonna sort it into sections. Okay, so we're about to go in the closet and I'm super, super embarrassed, but we're gonna get it done, guys. We're gonna get it organized and we're gonna go there. So first off, oh, now it's opening a little bit more, but that's as far as it opens. It won't open anymore. And then all these clothes are on the floor. All these shoes are on the floor back there. Um, blah, our vacuum, just stuff everywhere. That box is like my Poshmark stuff just a little bit of a mess in here. So let's get started on building that shoe rack.
Okay, so I finally got this in here. How to take a lot of stuff out. This clean floor with nothing on it is giving me vibes. Um, can we not put anything back? <laughs> Just kidding. So his shoes are all over here. Um, the shoes are over there. So I'm going to try to figure out the best method to get all of his shoes as much as I can on this rack. And then in that corner as well and see how well we do. We'll probably have to do some stacking and stuff like that. Again, that bottom row is really nice. I'm going to be able to fit shoes under there too. So it's almost like three um, tier for the shoes. And the top could be if he has any like taller boots or something, snow boots, etc. So we'll see how this turns out. Um... He's got a lot of stuff, so <laughs> let's get to it. Okay guys, here she is. I can open the door all the way now. We've made some room. You can actually walk in the closet. It's not perfect, but um, you know, we'll get there. The shoes are still a little bit of a mess, but at least they're not like out here reaching. We definitely need a different vacuum. Um, this was just given to us and we're just kind of using it in the meantime till we save up to get a different one. So that is that for now. I'd rather have like a thinner one that we can just put up next to our laundry area so that this big thing doesn't have to be in there but it gets the job done and now I can walk in my closet so I'm happy that it's here so we have my shoes down there um, we have our linens we have a box of travel stuff we have a box of electronical cords um, they're organized in the sense that we know what's in them it should be a little bit more organized though inside the boxes so that's definitely a project too and then here is the sunglasses thing that I got so this is for my sunglasses I love this so much I can see my glasses now they're in a safe little area so they're not gonna get scratched up um, so I'm going to clean these up and I'll be able to kind of transition throughout and use those. I like that they're right there now so I can see them. Um, we know what they are. These are where my handbags are. These are just things that we need to get framed, Disney maps and stuff like that. Um, those are like my heating pads and then my neck warmer thing. And here we just have a few little odds and ends. I actually really like this little thing. I got it from, I want to say TJ Maxx. And then here we have some shoes of mine, some bigger um, like hoodies and stuff. This is definitely my go-to during like the winter. This like fuzzy little thing that has like a zipper on it. My uh, Walt Disney World jacket that I absolutely love, a pink jacket. Um, and then this is like my Mickey Mouse jacket. These are Ruben's hats. These are my hats. You can see my Mickey ears in the back. And then the very top is my boots. I got my Hunter boots and then it's a couple pair of black boots and then um, some brown boots as well. So it's a work in progress. Like from here down, it looks good. This shelf kind of needs a little bit of help. This one isn't too bad. This one's good. And then over here, we just have my clothes. We have clothes down here. We have clothes up here, a uh, blanket, a suitcase, an extra comforter, and yeah. And then my yoga mat's just on the floor right there on the side. And then I have a few shoes that are underneath there. So, okay, yes, I know this is bad. This is the next project. This drawer has given me a headache. Basically, obviously when I put everything in, it was all nice and lined up, but things just fall over. They're too tall, whatever the case is. So, with the vanity organizer that I bought, it has a lot of different compartments in it. We're gonna see what we can do to kind of transform this drawer. And first we're gonna take everything out of the drawer, clean it out, and then um, see what we can do.
Okay, so here we are with the finished product. A lot better. Um, the organization does help. I don't have like my cotton um, rounds, just like bags in here and can't find things. So I took them out of the bag and just kind of double stacked them over here. And then when they're out, I'll just replenish. So I like that better. This is like a face wash that I use all the time. So I kept it right here by itself. Some of the hair products I use, um, some toners and stuff like that. So everything's kind of right here. I think the nice thing that's going to be good about this is that because this is in here, it's going to prevent all this from falling. So when I push it in and out, nothing's going to fall now. So it's just everything's in there or it's being pushed up against the the side of the drawer, the side of that. So things aren't going to like kind of shift and move anymore. So it looks so much better and organized. I can see everything. Okay, so here is the last project. This area just never was appealing to me. We need to fix it. Um, I don't like that you can see like the puzzles on the side on the top. I just want it to be the DVD player right there. I don't like that you can see the cords behind there. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna work on organizing this and see what we can do. I bought these um, baskets, bins, whatever you want to call them from home goods. These are what I showed you guys earlier. Um, again, I'm going to kind of test it out, see if I like it. I'm going to keep the tags on for right now. Cause I'm not sure, um, if this is going to be exactly what I want, but I'm going to play around with it for a little bit and see what we come up with. Okay. So this is what it looks like now. Loving that I could barely see the cords. Loving that it's just the DVD on that second shelf. So things are looking better. I have to run it by Ruben, see what he thinks. He hasn't seen these baskets yet. We've been talking about them for a really long time. We haven't found the right ones. I think they're cute. I like them a lot. So I'm gonna run it by him and see what he says. Um, but yeah, I mean, we still have work to do and things to organize, but we're, we're definitely getting there. Um, and again, we're just in an apartment right now, so it's not that we're trying to get everything, you know, perfect and in shape here, just here and there, just to kind of make it homey and, you know, enjoy the place that we live because we do spend a lot of time here. So yeah. Okay, so that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave everything that I can below in the description box so that you guys can take a look as well. I hope I've inspired you in this video or just simply brought you some joy, taking your mind off something that you have going on in your life right now. That is the goal of my videos. I'm excited to open up my life and share with you guys. Leave a comment down below, say hi, make a suggestion. If you guys wanna see more videos of certain things, you wanna see an apartment tour, whatever it is you guys wanna see, I wanna know so that I can put that out there for you guys. So I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you guys can get notified when I put up a new video. So I'm planning on putting up videos on Saturdays and then once in a while I'll also put one up during the week. So make sure you guys hit that little bell notification at the bottom so that you're notified and subscribe so that you're part of the family. And I will see you guys next video. Love you. Bye.